Good afternoon. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. This is my second time recording this video. It was interrupted because I thought I had Do Not Disturb on, but a call came through anyway. But anyway, um, I want to thank you all who have the new subscribers who have come to my channel. This is a safe place. Your an your ancestors, spirit guides, spirit team, they're all welcome here. Um, no, um, any negative energies are not welcome here. They've already been burned off and banished. I forgot to bring my bell just in case one sneaks in. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, we are here to talk about ways of healing yourself um, there are going to be messages like today I'm going to talk about plants um, I haven't dealt with my plants in a while and so this morning I actually spent some time with my plants and I got a lot of messages from them and there's a message from a plant that I'm looking at right over here and there's a message from one right over there um, but first before I get into that I want to read um, if you feel so inclined to do so you can um, go by my Instagram page and it's the same healing conversations with Z whereas each day I post a story and today's story is uh, we are becoming more responsible we are now learning to rely on and validate ourselves instead of abandoning the responsibility and depending on someone else to do it for us. Because the dependency on validation from others is a deep-seated pattern that has endured for centuries, it takes time to change it. The key is for us to just keep listening to, trusting in, and acting on our deepest feelings while loving and approving of ourselves as much as we can. Today's affirmation, I accept the responsibility of listening to and loving myself. That is for somebody out there. But again, I post daily affirmations on my Instagram channel, Healing Conversations with Z. If you feel so inclined to um, follow me, you can do so. All right. Let me get back to these plants because it's been it's been some interesting things coming up with these plants. Like I said, I hadn't um, tended to them. Well, I mean, I'm watering them, but I hadn't. There's other things I do because I normally I talk to them and I do things, and I hadn't done it um in about two weeks, and I've noticed that one of my plants is taller than me now, but I didn't know it because it had fallen over. So that was a mess. That's a message. You need to be careful. Be watchful of things that may be falling over, falling apart. Put them back up. You need to. You need to be mindful so you can be observant and put things back in its place, so it, you don't ruin things. That's a message for someone. Um, but I'll go in order how I how I wrote the messages down as I saw them. Number one, plant has outgrown the pot. I was out on the bat out on my patio, and I noticed one of my plants has outgrown. My lilies have outgrown their pot, and what that means is you've outgrown something. Something you've outgrown something, and um, there's a sick plant on my patio too. So there are somebody is not tending to something. There is an illness, an inner child, something you're not getting down to the root of the matter with that. So, yeah, because it's like white dots on it. I got to figure out what it is. I'm spraying um, fungus spray on it because I think that's what it is. Because a few years ago, I had a plant that, the plant that's taller than me now had, the, had that fungus white stuff on it. And I, I revived it. And I think that's the issue with that plant. So I'm spraying the fungus spray on that one to see if it's going to, you know, kill the fungus on it. Um, let me see. Inside the house. Plant is falling over and it needs to be propped, which I did. What that means is that somebody is growing tall. They're expanding higher consciousness. They're growing to higher consciousness. Um, while I was... Propping the plant, fixing the plant, 
I broke a leaf. Leave things as they are, or you may hurt or kill it. Think about that. Don't overdo stuff. If you're, you know, something may be a little off, leave it. That's the way it's supposed to be. Don't be like me and I broke off a leaf. A leaf. My plant. Um, let me see. What else? Oh, it says, leave them as they are, or you may hurt or kill. Crowding plants. That was, I noticed that the plant that I had to reprop was crowding out another plant. And that message was, you need to move away so you can be seen. Yeah, that plant was not getting adequate sunlight because the other plant was on top of it. So since I propped it, repropped it, got it back where it should be, now that plant can receive the sunlight that it needs to, needs to, um, so that it can grow. And that plant is the newest house plant that I bought. The other ones are okay. Um, oh, there is, let me see, where is that at? I'll keep going because I wrote it in a certain order, so I'll keep going. I have sunflowers. I ended up, when I bought the sunflowers during the beginning of the pandemic, I bought just one pack of sunflowers. I used to plant them every year. And one year I had lots of them. And they were gorgeous. If I find, well, no, I can't post a picture on here. I don't have enough subscribers. If I get to that point where I have enough, not, uh, enough subscribers where I can post pictures and stuff, I will do so. But one year I had gorgeous sunflowers. It was about 10 or 12 of them. They were, they were all taller than me. They were gorgeous. I had lots of birds sunflower seed oh it was nice it was beautiful but i only have two this year i i had three but i was moving the dirt around and it covered up the one and he, he couldn't push through so that's another lesson leave stuff alone um, but the other two that i have one is growing really tall it's not tall as me yet but it will be um there's another one that's it's not as tall as that one, but it's getting there. Um, somebody's growing tall, and those sunflowers are healing. So I'm going to have two beautiful plants soon. Um, I'll keep talking about that. But I posted a picture of those sunflowers on my Instagram page as well. And you can see the lilies. You can only see the beautiful, blooming ones. But in the center, you can't see where I need to. I need to repot that plant because... It's not not doing well. Um, let me see. Moving on. I got a plant in here that's a weed. It tricked me. Weed I thought was a plant. Trickery. There's some trickery going on. And someone is hiding who they really are because I really thought that was a plant. But it's a weed. It's growing tall. I'm going to show it to you. And I can read you. This is a weed. I thought it was going to be a flower. So there is some deception going on around you. Somebody is not showing who they are. They are hiding who they are. And I don't know, it might be their motives too. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, the plant that's in here. A few weeks ago, uh, a few months ago, I did a reading. I did a message like this about my plants and um, two of them were together. It was like a three-party situation situation thing where one was moving away now all three limbs is one pointed up one's going to the left and one's to the right so a whole situation has ended a whole situation has ended one plan is up to source I'm going to keep a watch on this plant because, you know, it changes. It, it changes. 
But one of these plants is leaning way over like it's almost ready to, ready to, I don't know. It's doing something crazy. Uh, and let me see. What else? I have a plant that's the same like this plant that I talked about, whereas um, it was some fighting going on. And a plant, uh, one of the, it was five limbs, five wands, and there was fighting. But now when I look at that plant, now I looked at it, that one, the, the oldest limb, the longest limb is way away from the other limbs now. So it's moving away from the fighting. Somebody's moving away from fighting. And then the four wands that are there, it's a wand on the it's a, it's a wand on the left and a wand on the right. And the two are intertwined. I'm still looking at that situation. Um, so it could be that, that that wand is moving away to get into its own union by itself. Could be the karmic left. But there is something still there because two of the two of the limbs are intertwined. I'm gonna see if I can take it apart. We'll see. Uh, what else? This is what I wrote. Previous fighting, five limbs, now one limb has moved far away from the other four. Someone is moving towards their happiness within themselves or within their partner. And about that sick plan I wrote, healing needs to take place. It has an inner child issue. There's a root issue with that sick plant. I'm not sure what it is about that plant. With the sunflowers, healing will soon be coming. And they're, it's facing the sun. It's not facing me. It's the plant is facing out toward the sun. Let's see what else. Oh, did I, I wrote something. Anything else? Yeah, I think that's it. Um, the plants, those were the messages that I got from the plants. But I'm, I'm pulling that, that weed out that tricked me. There's trickery going on. I kept watching it for a while. I kept saying, hmm, is it going to turn into that flower that I thought it was? And I thought it was a flower. I really did. It's not. It's a weed. It's a weed and it's been still in my time. And still in my energy. Oh, let me talk about these. This plant, oh shoot, I'm getting wet. I forgot I watered. This plant was given to me when I was teaching at a school. One of my fellow co workers gave me this plant. This plant is over a year old, and I water it every so often, and I thought over the winter that it was going to die. I thought it was going to die, but it didn't. It didn't have those red, the little, the blooms didn't, didn't come and all of a sudden it rebloomed. So there is a resurgence, regrowth, a new cycle. I knew it was more I needed to talk about. And then I have, because um, I have a lot more plants, I just don't talk about them. But these are right here. I ended up finagling, I shouldn't say finagling, because I didn't have to lie to anybody to get it. But I bought this plant from the grocery store, from, from Kroger. I bought it from Kroger. It didn't, it didn't originally come in this plant. Another plant came in here, but it died. I, I, I killed it. I forgot about it. I, had it, I didn't have it in the, in the window. But um, this is what it came from. And it came from one of my um, students. I won't say his name, and he was he was really cool. But I found this um, orchid, 
and I rem I thought I figured it could fit in this plant and it's doing its thing these little green things sticking out these are new all new I went to Divine Masculine's house and I stayed there for about a week and I came back and I noticed this all these and then I have this and it's more it's more of them coming it's a lot going on here um so it's a lot of new growth a lot of growth is going on um and i oh don't fall i can actually say yeah you see my messy bed but i don't care about that um so i think that part of the message for me is that it's a lot of new growth going on and there's a lot of changes going on but i am getting rid of that weed that tricked me take a take a hold of uh, note of that um, next time it's gonna be another plant and then the next time I talk about the plants but this is all that I have to say as far as the messages from the plants um, thank you for stopping by healing conversations with Z and I'll be back peace <music>